Well, today on Nation, we're going to talk about how you can make another $10,000. This is the top five ways, and you won't believe number four. Just kidding, but stick around to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from Window Cleaning Resource, and uh, you're here. What's up? Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for uh, uh, listening to my intro of clickbait. I just always wanted to be super clickbaity and just, you know, get those views in right now. Anyway, welcome. What's up? Have a t have a look around. Hopefully you like it. Uh, there is over a hundred episodes to follow up on, and I love hearing stories when you guys are binging. Uh, it's people just find the show and they text me and say, "Hey, what's up? I've just watched like twelve of these things last week." So that's super, super cool. Um, this is available on iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and anywhere podcasts are available. If you like to listen, certainly do that. Subscribe to those. If you want to watch it, it's on YouTube. And if you want to talk back and forth, comment on YouTube. This week on YouTube, if you're listening or watching, comment down there what the best tip or trick you've ever had to make money comment down there. If you are one of the elite, one of the cool kids, uh, one of the nation, somebody who watches every episode, of course you thumbs up, and of course you comment, because that's super awesome. You've given us a review, you've done everything possible, and most importantly, you buy your supplies through me, super spammy sales pitch, then what's going on, man? It is because of you that I get to have name brand protein drinks. There you go, this week. I love it, by the way, guys. If you're buying from me, everybody uh, tells me one random thing of uh, name brand something every time. They're like, hey, they'll text me, Jersey, I got an order in my cart. It's ready to be put in. Now you can get brand name fireworks. That was the last one I think I had. It's awesome. By the way, if you want to have me order your supplies because you're awesome and because you're amazing and you want to make my day, my number direct is 862-312-2026. Save that number, jersey at windowcleaner.com, and it's 862-312-2026. I want to be your rep. I want to be your guy. You know, everybody's got a guy. I want to be your guy. I put every order in for you, answer any questions, help you with bidding. But anyway, that's my number. Uh, please, please let me. That would mean the world to me and my, uh, you know, name brand products that I buy. So thank you very much, guys. And if you get everything in your cart, like I said, shoot me a text, be like, yo, it's in my cart, man, put it in. That is awesome, it costs you nothing extra. I love it, love it, love it, you make my day, and uh, yeah, you're awesome. But anyway, go do that. Uh, a couple shout outs this week, I wanna say what's up to Tweezy. There you go, I said it. Uh, Davis Tyrell, uh, David Davies, uh, Brandon Major and Chase uh, Ziegler, Ziegler at Ziegler Window Cleaning. I'm gonna I butcher your stuff. I'm sorry. What's up, Chase? Uh, but yeah, thanks guys for watching, listening, and everything else. And uh, thanks for just being awesome in general. Anyway, this week we're actually gonna be talking about ways to make money. Now the the title of this thing is a little bit clickbaity, right? Top five ways to make another ten thousand by the end of the year. But I'm telling you. This will do it. Now, everybody's in different areas, right? And we've all heard lots of tips and tricks. The biggest thing you gotta do is implement stuff. Now, I'm not telling you anything you may not know, uh, and I don't know more than you about your business. I'm telling you, whatever you do in your business is absolutely correct. I'm just some dude who has a microphone that is right here that you can't see. Uh, that's all, so I just wanna kinda give you guys some suggestions, um, but, if you decide to make changes, you have to implement them. The sooner you implement them, the more you'll make. And I'm telling you right now, 10K is easy to make. Especially we got six, six months left. You know, it's, uh, it's definitely uh, easy to make with a few different changes. You should always be changing yourself. There's never a point when you get in business. I've been in business for 15 years, been in, in window cleaning. And I still not to the point where every single day I wake up and go, ah, this is perfect, exactly where I want to be. There's times where I may run the course. I may, you know, sit back and relax a little bit. But it's very short-lived. You always want to be improving yourself. That's where these huge conventions, 
come into play, by the way, go to thehugeconvention.com. All that stuff that you can learn and pick up, it's always to be bettering yourself. Always be bettering yourself. So you have to, have to do that. Whenever you decide you've learned everything and you're at the pinnacle of life, it's time to sell. It's time to be done. You've done it. You're there. You'll never learn everything. It's the old timers have been doing it for 25 years, don't even know water fed exists, right? Times are a changing and you always have to be kind of active. So here's just a couple quick suggestions for it. Make the changes and I'm telling you, telling you, it will reap the benefits of it. But the number five way uh, for me to help you make another 10 grand this year is to uh, get your tax deductions in place. Now, I know, I'm starting off with the worst of the five. They get better from here. But listen, taxes are a horrible word, and I don't ever do shows on taxes because taxes are so different, and I'm not a certified tax advisor or whatever. I'm just not. But if you get your deductions into play, or your filings into play, maybe you're an LLC, maybe you should be filing as an S-Corp. Maybe you should be going out and uh, focusing more on your deductions, going through deductions every single week, two weeks, month. Most people wait until the very end of the year and they either don't file or they don't file correctly and they pay way more than they should, way more. Not that I know anything about anything, but uh, I had changed just a deduction and that one way that uh, my filing status is, uh, is going to net uh, over $10,000 for one change. Why did I not do that earlier? Why did I not do that earlier, right? So talk to an accountant. Get a good accountant. Don't get your friend. Good accountants are cheap. I'm telling you. You don't have to go and be like, I want you to do everything. I want you to go in, say, hey, have a look at my stuff. It's June. They're not busy now is the time to do it. Take your stuff in. Look at my stuff. What can I do? And I'm telling you, they will tell you things that are super important. Even if they give you something that saves you $2,000, $5,000, anything, it works towards that $10,000. I'm telling you, you're going to be healthier from here on out. So do that. Deductions are huge. Um, deductions are one of the things that I've always lacked in. Right? Every time I do something or I get something, if you have a special card, I'm not going to go through it. I'm not going to put them where I need. There's so many deductions that fall through the cracks because my brain's not thinking about it. But every deduction that you do have, legally have, is money back in your pocket. So you got to go and do that. Taxes are not fun. I hate talking about it. I have PTSD from taxes, just like everybody. But uh, it's super important. Go do it. Go talk to an accountant. I'm telling you. Usually the first one's free. Say, hey, I heard good things about your accounting firm, and I want you to talk. Do it. It's so worth it. Uh, but number four uh, in this is another one we've talked about quite a bit, but I'm telling you it's time you still can. And it is an email blast and call list. You have to do an email blast and a call list. And here's the reasons. Emails are super easy to obtain. I know nobody likes spam, but everybody gets it, right? If it's not spam, if it creates value. Now, the thing with media and content and the way the world works now, um, and this goes on with Facebook uh, ads, it goes on with Google ads, it goes on with everything. Every single, every single, every single service that you use, Facebook, Instagram, or right, everything, there's ads there. You don't even notice them because we're in a scrolling society. Every time you're on anything, you scroll, right? You scroll. You could be on our forums and you're scrolling. There's ads for different products on there, different click-throughs, but you're going to scroll right by it. Having content is not a bad thing because they're not going to be bothered by each single time. Now, if you call them every single day, hey, that's intrusive. That gets annoying. You last two, three calls before they just disconnect their phone. But on content, on email blasts, that you could do more often. You just have to think of clever ways to send them, and the emails have to be visually appealing. I've seen some of the worst emails that are just spam, just crap, and uh, very easy to just, you know, block off. And by the way, 
people get my email because I give it out all the time. And people decide to send me newsletters for your business. But they don't say anything. I'm just all of a sudden on their email list. So don't do that. I'm just going to delete you. Or if you didn't talk to me about it, I'm even going to trigger you as spam. I usually don't. I just delete it or unsubscribe. But um, you can send out content. Just make it worth people's time to look at. Because here's the thing. If they see that title, they'll delete it before they even open it. If it's not catchy or it's not making them open it, then that's cool. They'll just delete it. You don't want to get 12 emails a year deleted, but that's because you suck at your titles, right? But it doesn't drive them crazy. If they really do think that they don't want to get it and it doesn't adhere to them, they throw it away. They just unsubscribe. That's fine. You just continually get emails from everybody. You tell them that you're sending, hey, we're going to shoot you over some coupons you can use next time. Uh, and people do like that, especially if they're using you, but it keeps you relevant. It keeps you relevant. The big thing is, too, when you have flash style sales where, you know, one month where it may not be gutter season that you're trying to get people to book for gutters when it's time, you can throw out discounts and deals and whatever you want to entice people. That's cool. But make it interesting. Make the content readable. Don't just throw out things like, you know, gutter cleaning. Blah. And, and nobody's going to look over your email. If you think it's good and your mom thinks it's good, it's probably not good. Have other people look at it as uh, an outside area. Uh, email blasts are huge. It's non-invasive, non-intrusive, whatever the fancy word is. Email blasts are huge. Call lists. The biggest thing that I've ever done for my business for boosting income was a call list. Now, if you're listening and you have 10 customers or you have 10,000 customers, listen to me. Listen to this part right here. On an, a call list, you do it twice a year, spring and fall. But you do it pre-spring and pre-fall. But you do the call list when it's in people's brains and things start picking up. If you do a call list in the middle of July, you're going to waste all of those calls. But now a call list will take you time. There's only so many calls that you can do in an hour. So you need to have staff to do it if you got a lot of uh, customers or clients. Or you need a service to do it. It's just the fact of it. But when you call people when it's already in their brain, it will trigger people to buy. It will remind them that you're there. And if it's in everybody's brain to hire, you know, man, I should get the windows clean. Before, you know, fall's coming up, I should get the windows clean before it gets gross, you know. Everybody likes their windows done spring and fall. Those are our busy times, right? The problem is, if you are irrelevant, which a lot of us are irrelevant, if you're irrelevant, they will not remember to call you. But if it's even in the back of their brain, they've never said it to themselves, but it's there, and you send them an email or you give them a call, even if they're leaving a message, hey, it's Jersey from XYZ. Uh, we're just putting together our fall schedule, and I didn't see your name on it. I'd love to get you in the calendar for a window cleaning or gutter cleaning I know you've had in the past, so just give me a call back. We'll get you in there, find a day that works for you, and we'll schedule that out there. Also, it could probably save you a couple bucks, whatever you want to say. But getting that, they call, they listen, they're like, oh, man. I was just thinking about that. Or if it's in the back of their brain, it brings it to the front. Now they know you, they remember you, and they will call you. Even if you don't get a response from that, they'll write it down. They'll put it somewhere. They'll save your voicemail. There's just like stuff that's on people's fridge. When you go somewhere, man, I sent out things four or five years ago, and it's still magneted to their fridge. It's the same thing. Even with a call. Even if they're not ready, they take it, and they will use that. Call lists are absolutely huge. It is what boosts that, you know, spring and fall. It keeps you relevant and you can help upsell items in the call list. When everything's said and done, say, okay, great. Well, now we're coming into fall. How's your gutters looking? I mean, have you ever had anybody professionally clean your gutters? Our prices start at blah, right? That's your time. You're on the phone. They're already, yes, I like you. We're going to sign up with you. Yes, let's get that done. I'm really happy. I'm getting the windows done. Oh, you also do gutters? Yeah, while well, you're here, do them. Uh, while we're there, we can actually save you 20 bucks, 50 bucks on the combining services if you get them both done together. Whatever your tactics are, it's a way to upsell and it's a way to create relevance. And relevance is huge. You have to be relevant. It's the same reason. I always say this and people go, well, we're window cleaners. We're not McDonald's. But I use McDonald's a lot. But McDonald's is in every billboard, every uh, magazine and radio ad and uh, everything. They're everywhere. But 
everybody in America, if you're two years old or older, you know what a McDonald's is. No matter what part of the country you are in, no matter what you are economically, you know what a McDonald's is. Rich people know, poor people know. But they continue to be everywhere because they need to continue to stay relevant. If you're not reminded that they have a cheeseburger or not reminded that their fries are golden brown, you're not going to have them in your brain and remember them when you're thinking about a place to eat. Why do you think when you're driving down the interstate, there is just a big billboard with a close-up of french fries? How does that sell? It's french fries and a golden M. That's it. It's because it reminds you, it brings it to the front of your brain and now allows you to to, to, to talk about it, to think about it. That's what, that's what you need to be. Stay relevant. These are little things. Again, implement them. I'm promising you they will uh, help. Now, on the upside thing, uh, upside of things, you, um, you're going to be upselling, right? But the big thing with upselling, and I was going to put that in here just in general upselling, but that's easy, right? Sell more services. Of course, you make more money. But how do you get those more services? And how do I make this in this list that sounds halfway decent? So number three is going to be paying your guys or girls, whatever, a commission on upsells. Now you're thinking, okay, well, maybe I do, right? But you don't push it. Upsells happen when you can go to a job and that job, that ticket, $299. What if you added 200 bucks to every job, right? What if you added gutter cleaning to every job? Or when they left a job, they also were going to get the roof done or their back patio or you left a job and had other work scheduled. Here's the thing. On an upsell, if your guys or girls who are in the field, if you're not or you have multiple crews, they need to be incentivized. Man, I'm having a word day today. But they have to have some kind of incentive to sell because they don't care about your business like you do. They're it's not their baby like it's your baby, right? So when you can add money onto that, it's their service. Say 10%, 20%, 25% for even numbers. You get 25% of every job you upsell. Guess what? Guess what people are doing? I guarantee you, you will have crews who are upselling work. Because if you upsell a $200 job, they're making 50 bucks. You didn't have to do any extra work. You added that value to it. You've increased your ticket for your entire year. You've now increased it by 150 bucks. That easy. And you gave your guy some money. If they're making 50 extra dollars to talk about things, that's not you're like, well, that's too much. Bull. This is services, right? We have that kind of leeway to get those new services in because not only is it increasing your bottom line, but it's telling those people and getting those people to use more services. So... A lot of guys are running their window cleaning stuff and their pressure washing stuff all in the same truck. If they get to a job and they pressure, they, they upsell a pressure washing in a patio, they do the pressure washing right there. They do the window cleaning after so that there's no splashing. It works out beautifully. They come back and they had extra $200. And out of that, you're paying your guy 50 bucks. If your guys, you know what you pay them an hour. If they can upsell one job a day to make 50 extra bucks, two jobs, what if every job they upsold? They would be making so much money that they want to do that. It's That's the incentive is to help these guys. You want to make a bunch of money? Bring it up. Talk about it. That will increase your add-ons. Your add-ons increase your total dollar. They may increase your time, and I get that, but those guys are also working the hours to do the work. So now, even if they now have an 8-hour day, turns into a 10 because of all the things they added on, they're making a ton of money for the, the bonus, and they're making more money to do the work. It just makes sense. It makes sense to get more work in the door. And that's a great way to do it. We had a guy um, who uh, he would make on his check average, um, usually average, a week about 275 bucks, a little over that, uh, just under 300 bucks a week in upsell services and just random things. But he was selling like, upselling like complete roofs and like you know like we'd have to go back to do and that kind of thing and he loved it that was like his like bonus perk spot for it but he was bringing in work he was bringing in work i got 75 percent of what he brought in compared to the 25 that you give out yes they have to do the work i get that but say 
even after all the payroll's done, you still make 50% of a new service that you did nothing to upsell. That's income. That's how you do this. You get those people happy. You get them incentivized. You get them excited. I also did perks for... Um, we did uh, a home show booth, and in the home show booth, we bought TVs for the home show booth, and uh, we ended up getting a third TV. The, the way that it worked, we used two TVs in there, but we were going to use three TVs, and we had this extra TV. We ended up not wanting to use it. It was just too cluttery, so I gave it to one of the guys. I'm like, okay, whoever gets the most uh, upsells, here's your TV. That kind of thing, little things, makes it fun for them. They will sell so much stuff for you, it'll blow your mind. So make it worth their time, uh, incentivize them and, uh, get them on par with how you bid and they will sell work for you all the time. Even if the people are a little bit quieter, and not uh, introverted, just bringing it up sometimes gets people to, to book. Um, the number two way that, um, you can increase by $10,000 this year is one of the biggest ones. This has got to be either first or second. For how you, this one thing alone will make you more than ten thousand dollars this year, and it's following up on bids residentially and commercially, right? So a lot of guys will go and get bids, or they do estimates. I always have a binder. The binder is our, our uh, bid log. It just shows because I ask, okay, I just need some information for you when we've been on the phone. I just need your phone number, uh, your email if you want any coupons from us, your address, and your phone number, and I can look everything up. But the thing is, is on that sheet, it gives me information. I got a spot for notes. I also got a spot for if they booked or not. I have that all on there. The nice thing with that is after a month, uh, they call you back. Now you know what you told them because it's all written down. But the other side of it is that is so valuable. Those are leads. Those are people who needed to have their windows done. They want their windows done. Even if they didn't go with you, they may have gone with somebody else or they may not be happy with that person, but maybe they didn't go with anybody. Maybe life got busy, right? You just reminding them that you're there, reminding them of your price, saying, hey, hey, Janet, I just wanted to catch up with you and see if you had any other thoughts on the... That kind of thing will close work huge huge work comes from that it's because a lot of the other stuff they write it down on a scrap piece of paper or a napkin and somebody says oh, i don't know i'll have to let you know okay and i'll never hear from that and they don't call them back follow-up is huge follow-up is so much more important than even doing it in the first place if you sell good on the phone uh, well whatever if you sell well on the phone uh, you can sell and close a lot of residential stuff because people just want you to, they call you because they want to just get it done. When everything's done, okay, Janet, I am looking at your house here. I got the questions. I've asked my question. Your price is uh, $279, and we actually have uh, Tuesday the 22nd available or Wednesday the 23rd available in the afternoon. Which one of those would work better? You ask it that way, and people are like, oh, you know, actually Wednesdays are a little bit better. Or do you have anything on Thursdays? We do, but not till the following week or whatever. Yeah, we do have a Thursday. It's at 1 o'clock. Does that work for you? Yeah, it does. Everything is said and done. You close the deal. But all the ones that slip through the cracks are able to be followed up on. If you follow up on them, you will close a huge percentage of those ones. But you don't want to wait months to do that. You sure, you sure can, but you don't want to wait months. If they give you the email, and I always say... I'd love to send you out some coupons. Uh, if you want to sign up for that, uh, what's your email? That kind of thing. You know, um, I'll send you over something to you know save on uh, money on the services or whatever. When you have those emails, make sure that they get into your constant contact or your MailChimp, which is even better, um, because you can send them. We'll go back to what we talked about before with the email list. Uh, as long as they are giving you permission to send them stuff, put them in. But... If you do follow-ups on that, it's just as important as commercial. And if you're doing commercial bids, you're going out there and doing storefronts and stuff, golly, make sure that you are calling them weekly, at least weekly, on the commercial side of things because they will forget about you as soon as you walk out of the door. You will not even have the door hit you in the rear before they've forgotten your face, right? So you have to be relevant. You have to remind them that you exist. Doing follow-ups will do that. Residentially or commercially, they will do that. The number one way, and I'm telling you, this is my biggest pet peeve with people. It's answering your phone. It's the hardest one of all of these to do. But if you answer your phone 100% of the time, 
you will close more work. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. $10,000 worth of work will come from just answering your phone all the time. Here's why. When people call, it's in their brain. It's not in their brain as soon as they hang up, right? They're going to call you. They're going to call Joe's window cleaning. They're going to call uh, Billy's window cleaning, right? They're going to call you three. And whoever answers first is going to close the job 90% of the time, as long as you're decent with closing, right? If you don't answer, they call the next one. They don't leave a message most of the time. If they like you, sometimes they do. But I'm not leaving a message. I'm just going to look for the next one. You know, that's what happens. You get a lot of phone calls. Check your logs. You get so many more phone calls. Missed calls that never left a voicemail because they want to know the next guy. If you answer your phone every single time, you will close more work. Here's the thing. Well... Jersey, I got a, I got a problem with that. I'm out in the field. I'm doing all this work. I can't, I can't be in a customer's house and talk. That's true. You can't. But here's the time for you to move up to the next level and get an answering service. Now, an answering service is very nice. Usually, a very nice lady who will answer and say, "Hey, thanks for calling X Y Z Window Cleaning. Um, can I help you?" Like, yeah, I'm looking for a bit. Oh, great. Well, we, you know, uh, Jersey's actually out in the field right now, but I can have him call you back as soon as he gets back, or let me shoot you the message over to him. He'll call you right back. However, they structure it. You can tell them to do. Sometimes they can even bet online. You got to choose a service for that. Yes, it costs money, but it costs so much more money to not have it. You're losing so much more money. You want to know something that also that's really cool? I call a lot of people for windowcleaner.com, right? By the way, if you want me to be your rep, I'll try not to call too much. But no, if somebody calls me and I call them back, uh, or you know, we're looking at a cart scene if people have questions on anything, there's something really cool about when you call and have somebody professionally answer the phone, even if they don't get through to you. Because you were, you were accepted, you were talked to, you weren't just shunned you get when you side buttoned, you know, so there's something to be said just for that. But on the other side of that, if you say, oh, he'll call you right back. Let me get that message over to them. They're not going to go, oh, okay, hang up with you and call the next guy. They're going to wait for your call. You can call him back Go walk out to the truck. You get a text message and say, hey, Janet just called. She needs you to call back for a quote. Cool. Walk out to the truck and do the quote over the phone. Hey, sorry about that. Uh, I know you just called. Um, I'm just calling you back to get that estimate. Perfect. You do it, close it, get it all done right then and there. You can be in and out and close a job in five minutes. But if you're answering your phones, you're going to make more money than you did without answering phones. It's just a fact. If you are not answering your phone, the famous quote is, you're in business to go out of business. And I understand that sometimes you just can't get back, but most of the time, If you're like, oh yeah, if they need me, they'll leave a message, I'll call them right back. They're not going to leave a message. Most people will not leave a message. If you're listening or watching on YouTube to comment down below if you think that that's true. If you know your ratios or if you agree or disagree, tell me because I want to know. Because I like to know, right? Do it if you're listening on uh, iTunes, uh, SoundCloud, Google Play, any of the podcast places. Tell me where you're listening if you are on YouTube. Uh, Otherwise, go ahead and give us a review uh, wherever you're listening to us. It would really genuinely help out. And even more than that, please let me be your rep. Again, I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com and window cleaning resource, of course. Uh, We have every supply you could possibly need in the uh, water-fed or traditional window cleaning side of thing and pressure washing SKUs also. Um, And we also are the only ones that carry the zero stuff. So if you've heard about that, that... Uh, give us a call. Give me a call. Let me be your rep. And I'm, I'm telling you, I put orders in for people that are 70 bucks. That's super awesome. There's never, ever a waste of my time to do that. That's how I make my cheddar. That's how I have this this, this nice um, solid wood background. Anyway, give me a call. Guys, I really do appreciate it. I really do thank you for everything. And we do a code every week. That if you watch the episode and you've made it through all the babbling to this point, which, by the way, what's going on? Um, we give you a code. If you call or you text or you whatever, tell me the code. You get 5% off of your order. This week's code is answer your phone. That is uh, this week's code. By the way, the irony in that 
is that if you call and I'm on the other line, I will not answer the phone. I don't have another answering service to my cell phone. But y'all get it. Y'all get it. If you're calling me on purpose, uh, you'll shoot me a text. Usually text is always better because I am on the phone all day long. Just shoot me a text. Be like, yo, I got an order. It's in my cart. The code is... Tell me the code. But anyway, my number again, 862-312-2026. I'm telling you, save it in your phone as Jersey. You will always have it. You'll always have it. If you ever want to email me anything, too, pictures of a job, uh, if you have questions on a quote, anything, anything at all, it's jersey at windowcleaner.com. Shoot me a text. Shoot me an email. Give me a call. Whatever. I'm here for you guys. And until next week, go out there and be epic.